Hi, this is Steve Stedman with Stedman Solutions, and I just wanted to share a quick SQL formatting and wildcard expansion trick that I learned recently. I actually learned this working with a client. For years, I've tried different SQL formatting tools from different vendors, but the problem I run into is that working on so many different databases at different locations, I can't take one of those vendor products and install it at different clients on 100 plus different SQL servers. What I run into is I'm kind of stuck where I really need to use the built-in tools rather than a third-party add-on. So I've been frustrated when I'm working with queries that are formatted poorly or hard to read where I want to go in and try and format them so that they are more readable. Okay, so this little trick works from uh, SQL Server Management Studio version from, from the 2005 version of SQL Server all the way up to the latest. I'm going to try it on SQL uh, Management Studio version 18 as well. So first I'm going to connect back to a SQL 2005 database just to show the uh, that it worked back in the day. Okay, and I'm going to type up a query. Select star from sys.databases where database ID equals 4. But let's just pretend this is a really long query and it's all formatted on a single line, but we want it to be a little bit more readable. We can go and design in the query editor and Personally, query editor is one of those things that I've avoided over the years because it was always uh, really challenging to make heads or tails out of what it's doing. So if we go design and query editor after highlighting it, and we ignore the top two panes here, you can see that the bottom window has it all formatted nice. We just go in there, hit OK, and what it's done is it's done the wildcard exp expansion. Our select star has been expanded out to show all the column names, and it's put in the carriage returns formatted it nicely and if we have subqueries or CTEs or different things like that it will do the same thing to format it nicely. If we bring it over here I'm going to drag in SQL Server Management Studio 2018 into the picture, highlight the query we're looking at, right click, go into Design and Query Editor and take a look down here it's it's expanded it. We hit the OK button and there we have wildcard expansion and the formatting. Okay, so let's take a look uh, at a little bit more challenging query. Uh, this one here, it's all formatted on a single line. Paste it in, and uh, it's kind of hard to follow because it's all in one line. Now I could go over here and insert some line feeds here or there uh, just by hitting Enter. But instead, I'm just going to hit Control A to select the whole thing. Right click on it, design in the query editor. Forget about all the other query editor stuff and look down at the bottom and just hit OK and there you have it a little bit more complicated query formatted with several inner joins and it comes out looking a lot better than how it started and it makes it a lot easier to read. Now I don't know how many times I've been given a query that's like I don't know 400 lines long and you need to go in and format it and click around a little bit to be able to make it readable but to me this is one of those things it's not rocket science what we're doing here but it's one of those things that'll save a few seconds or even a few minutes here and there as I'm analyzing different queries. Anyway, that's my tip for today. I hope this is something you'll find useful. If you need any help with SQL Server, Stedman Solutions LLC offers SQL Server consulting services from performance tuning to database corruption and general DBA services. Uh, you can reach out at stedmansolutions.com or find more information on my blog at stevestedman.com. Thanks and have a great day.